Welcome, distinguished guests, members of the University Senior Management Committee, faculty representatives and graduates, to the Northwest University's online virtual graduation ceremony for April 2021. We are honored to be here to commemorate this special moment with you and your loved ones. We understand that no virtual ceremony can ever replace an actual ceremony on your campus together with your fellow graduates as well as photo sessions. And exactly for this reason, we will do our best, if circumstances allow, to ensure that graduates be invited to a later event where we will be able to physically celebrate your milestone. As you enjoy the ceremony with us, we ask you to please share the journey you have taken to reach this big milestone, including the highlights along the way. In order to ensure that you have some experience of being on campus celebrating this big achievement, a special campaign was launched on the university's social media platforms, allowing you to virtually capture a moment in front of special landmarks across our campuses. Please follow us on our social media pages to ensure that you do not miss out on this opportunity. Please enjoy the event with us and celebrate it together with our graduates who realized their dreams. Remember, it all starts here. Krachtens die Bevogheid an mij verleen, stel ik hier die vergadering saam als een wettige congregatie van de Noordwest Universiteit. By the power vested in me, I hereby constitute this meeting as a lawful congregation of the Northwest University. A warm word of welcome to each and every one of you to this graduation ceremony. 
The first word to all the graduates is one of congratulations. Firstly, thank you for choosing the Northwest University as the place for your studies. It remains wonderful to know that you have grasp the opportunities offered to you to develop your talents and that you are now well prepared to start your successful careers. We want to take this opportunity as staff and stakeholders of the Northwest University to thank you for your loyalty, your contributions and your inputs during your time here on our campuses. There is a saying, every ending is a new beginning. And after today, we welcome you as alumni of our university. You are quite probably going to enter the job market, or perhaps you will go on to postgraduate studies. Either way, whatever your future is, we want to wish you the very best. It is, of course, not the best of times to have a graduation in the midst of what we know to be the lockdown, that dreaded word, the lockdown. When the lockdown started, one university student observed in her words, I got to see life happening. I saw families spending time together, like children playing games on their driveways or fathers teaching their own kids to ride bikes. When we stop observing our surroundings, we oftentimes pro are provided with few new perspectives on our situations. That was the reality for this one student. What was it for you? The corona Virus pandemic has caused many university graduations to be replaced with virtual drive-in and other alternative ceremonies. We are grateful that through the online mode, we can still honor you, salute you, and congratulate you for your achievements. It is easy during these times to feel buried by our circumstances. However, let me paint for you a picture of a farmer planting a seed. Did the farmer bury the seed? Well, yes, but he also planted it. Instead of feeling buried by our situation, we must realize that the pain and the heartache that has been piled upon us is not meant to bury, but to plant us in a way that will allow us to grow and prosper into who we are meant to be. As you stop and take in the circumstances around you, my question to you is, will you allow yourself to be buried or to be planted? As we move on from this place today and embark on the new big journey of life, whether that's the university again for further studies or joining the workforce or something else. Life will at some point begin to feel like it's going too fast. My bike rides have taught me a new way to handle these times because they allow me to exercise and be among the beauty of nature, which are things that cause me to slow down. When life becomes too much like a race for you, it may not be riding a bike. It may be playing an, an instrument, being active in sport, creating art, or something else entirely. I encourage you to find that one thing that allows you to unwind and refocus when life seems too much to handle. Not just during this pandemic, but in later situations that you will face, situations of adversity. Today, I thought I wanted to give a speech about something that would provide happiness to you, if only for a little while. Life, they say, is 
like a box of chocolates. But right now, things are rather sour. But you must have hope, eventually, they will turn sweet. You see, the sharing of knowledge is just as important as receiving it. Because without sharing, knowledge has no value. The first piece of advice I want to give to you, graduates today, I want to share with you this message that you should always try and challenge yourself, even if you think it's a bad idea in the process. Always attempt to answer questions and solve problems. Find new ways to do the same tasks. Spend not just your money, but life. Live life responsibly. All in all, just make life spicy and interesting. Make life something that you want to reminisce about. Also, if I can give you a simple lesson, just be nice to people. Trust sows the seeds of freedom and a little respect truly goes a long way. It could even solve a few of the world's problems. You never know when you'll need to fall back on someone. So build strong relationships, strong connections early in your careers and maintain them. The phrase, I don't know, is one you might have often used in your student days. It is very powerful. By admitting ignorance, you are asking to learn. Inevitably, I know, and you know, that when you're learning, in, the, uh, in that process, you will come upon a hard stop. And I hope that when you do, you will remind yourself to pause and ask for a hand of enlightenment so that you might come back from the hard experience of knowing more than when you started. Life really seldom hands you a golden opportunity. So make one for yourself. Just as a tornado creates a path in the wake of its destruction, this class of 2021 will, too, create its own, hopefully without the whole destructive part and in this case it surely has been the pandemic lastly the phrase I don't know is probably one that you have used pretty often in your student days here it is a very powerful phrase by admitting ignorance you are asking to learn inevitably when you say I know I will come up upon a hard stop and I hope that when you do, you'll remind yourself to pause and ask for the hand of enlightenment so that you can come back from the hard experience of knowing more than when you started. Life really hands you a golden opportunity. So take the chance and make one. Just as the tornado creates a path in the wake of its destruction, this class of 2020 will, too, create its own, hopefully without the destructive path. And in our situation, we know that to have been the pandemic. We all deserve to celebrate and be proud of ourselves. It's upsetting that we won't have this year the traditional graduation ceremony that we always did. And sadly, we cannot control the circumstances that we face today. What we can do is choose how we respond to it as we take the next steps in life. It can be hard to imagine what life could look like as time progresses. We all know life will not be the same again. The only certainty we have is that time goes on and the future will arrive. We can use the pandemic as an excuse 
for why we can't move on in life, or we can use it as a motivator to find our purpose. Whether we plan to go to university again, whether we plan to join the workforce, there is no denying that society will gain something worthwhile from you. The situation we are living through shows how valuable each and every one is in society today. The world is finally realizing the importance of jobs, of servicemen and women, cashiers, teachers, politicians, and so forth. Whatever we plan on doing after this graduation, we will impact society. And so I invite every one of you to think and take your time to do your, your best. The door is open to a glorious future. That is our wish for each and every one of you. And I would like to remind everyone that this door has opened. You can walk through it and make a great success of your life. Thank you. By the power vested in me, I hereby confer diplomas and degrees from 19th April 2021 until 30th April 2021 on the candidates whose names appear in the program from the following faculties. Economic and Management Sciences, Dear graduate of the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our virtual graduation ceremony. Graduations are very special occasions. When a person page through photo albums, there are a few events that usually stand out. Weddings, the birth of children, 21st birthdays, and definitely graduation days. You represent a very special group of people, those who graduate during the trying times of a pandemic. But graduates, you know better than anyone that you did not do it alone. After all, we all know the African saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Let me tell you, it also takes a village to put a child through university. Accordingly, we must thank those who have stood by you through the years and who are with you today in spirit. Your loving parents, families, dear friends and sponsors, I want to congratulate each and every one of you today with your graduation. And I want to encourage you to remember that your association with the Northwest University goes hand in hand with a sense of responsibility and an unspoken quest, a quest to serve, to make a difference and to excel. The faculty wishes you everything of the best and may you be blessed.
Prachtens die Bevogheid an mij verleem und bin ich hier die Kongregation von der Nordwest Universität. By the power vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the Northwest University.